Hello, Porter County. Bill Higby back. It's officially summertime. After a week off, Tuba Tuesday's back with the six feet apart Tuba Euphonium Sextet, and we're playing our summer theme song. I hope you recognize it. Here at the Foundation, we've been recognizing our most recent scholarship recipients. You'll get to see many of their pictures during this video. Among the hundreds of endowment funds held here at the Community Foundation, about 80 of them are scholarship funds, helping Porter County students continue their education so they can get a good job and have a productive, rewarding, fruitful life is one of the most important things we can do for our community. Did you know that over the course of a working career, a person with a bachelor's degree will earn on average a million dollars more than someone with just a high school diploma? A million dollars. That's a lot of tubas. Of course, not everyone needs a four-year degree to be successful, and not every good job requires one. That's why the scholarships awarded by the Community Foundation go to kids who want to be machinists, welders, mechanics, and cosmetologists, as well as teachers, nurses, bankers, and tuba players. The power that makes this possible is generosity. The generosity of people like Georgia Bricker, John and Linnea Forchetti, Doug and Kimberly Mock, Bob and Liz Shank, and so many others who have established named scholarship funds to benefit Porter County students, and the hundreds of generous people who have made contributions to the General Scholarship Fund at the Community Foundation. Your contribution to a scholarship fund is a great way to show how much you love where you live, and it's a true gift to the future of Porter County. If you'd like information on how your journey with generosity might include a named scholarship fund, let us know. In the meantime, feel free to drop a few bucks into the General Scholarship Fund. I guarantee you'll feel great about it. Thanks for watching Tuba Tuesday.